solid motor viewpoint shading and get our light up here and uh, then we'll come down here to our our properties panel and where it's a point light we actually want to make this the sun okay because that's that's what we're doing that's we want the sun to be the thing that shines okay and I'm gonna bring it back into rendered and that is holy cow really uh, really a, just a, a bright sun so let's go how about three okay that's not bad maybe even maybe even five okay and then let's bring this around here I'm gonna because it's a little bit grainy I'm gonna bring it back over to Eevee uh, just so I can move faster right because Eevee you can move much faster than uh, than you can with uh, than you can with cycles okay not bad you guys not a bad moon so now we have a moon and let's uh, I'm in object mode I'm just gonna click the moon and then I'm going to rotate and just to see what happens all right so now uh, so now the game is afoot to get the side of the moon that is facing me I where I am in the world and if you notice the side of the moon that always faces Earth is always the same side right we always see the same side of the moon so tidal locking occurs between pairs of co-orbiting astronomical bodies like a planet and its moon uh, when one of the objects reaches a state where there is no longer any net change in its rotation rate over the course of a complete orbit which is just awesome um, it's like astronomical bodies kind of tend to this over time um, I know that Pluto and its moon Charon are also tidally locked and, and here's here's a great you can see the same side of the earth same side of the planet is latched onto the same side of its orbiting astronomical body which is really just the coolest so what I want to find is what side of the moon faces earth and this is a picture that I took um, uh, during the last full moon and uh, I took it with my cell phone actually I took this with a note 10 it was attached to an eyepiece adapter and I put it into uh, a star blast 4.5 inch reflector telescope so it was a pretty cheap telescope it's a really good first telescope for anyone um, it's like 200 bucks on Amazon I own it I use it I will put a link to that in the description this is not an ad by any means but you know I took this picture with a cell phone which is that's saying something so let's use this as a base um, and you guys can um, you can have this this is I'll, I'll make this open for anyone to use uh, as a model so this is what the moon looks like uh, in Southern California in America so what's cool is that if this if you see this crater and it's on a different spot if yours is maybe towards the right or maybe even closer towards the bottom or around the left it, it this is one of the ways that you know we live on a spherical planet you know which is awesome I think because um, we see the same side of the moon but we see it differently okay so I'm gonna click my moon and then I'm just gonna rotate and try and bring it I'm gonna rotate it there that's not gonna work so I gotta rotate it over an axis we'll try the x-axis particularly oh we're on to something I like that there got that so here's our here's our main crater here so now let's rotate on the Y bring that down like that and then maybe what do we think like that maybe maybe a little around the Z a minute like this I think I think that's good I think right here we can call that we can call that so this this works for me um, okay so now we have the moon as it faces Earth full so now let's build the phases okay so this is uh, this is what the moon looks like in Southern California in the United States and we are in the northern hemisphere 
um, if anybody's watching this and anyone's doing it, I, I encourage you to use a picture of the full moon that you see where you are in the world. And, you know, some of the viewers of this channel are from India and Japan and uh, United Kingdom and Peru. And uh, if you want to, I encourage you to use your own moon. You know, you can use this one. Uh, this is the moon over, this is just a full moon over Los Angeles that I took with my cell phone. But if you use a picture of your own full moon, you'll see it differently. And that's kind of cool. And if there are people watching this anywhere in the, anywhere in the world, uh, take a picture of your full moon and um, post it. Or, I don't know, find me on Discord or Reddit or something. But this is actually a way to to show that we live on uh, the surface of a curved planet because uh, people that are that watch in the southern hemisphere see the same moon phase as we do like it's the same phase but the moon you're looking at is upside down compared to this which is awesome and on a flat flat on a flat earth we would all have the same moon there would be no need for any type of uh, upside down moons but this is you know the, the cool thing about science is that it's testable you can go and check that it works so anybody interested in uh, reinforcing that theory um, I, I think it'd be cool to get a collection of photographs of full moons from people all over the world um, that we could then put them together to show how they uh, would look to someone on a spherical planet right like that that'd just be a, a neat visual to uh, create and further reinforce that theory um okay so we have our moon and we have our displacement uh, okay one thing worth noting here i'm gonna grab these you know i'm gonna change this to point oh four and one thing a realistic planet it gets a little bit darker towards the edges Right? You know, because these are these are oblate spheroids and different amounts of light hit planets as they curve through space. Uh, we need to account for that. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and select all of these and grab all of them and pull them and just create some space. I'm going to duplicate this principled BSTF with Shift D and just bring it right over here. Okay. And this is, this is in the uh, Pink Pocket tutorial. I'll uh, link for that in the description. Uh, now with this second one, we want to make it black up here. Okay, so this is going to be the darkness. Bring it all the way down. And we're going to take the specular. We're going to bring that down as well. Specular is a node that deals with the reflective nature of light. Okay, now with my middle mouse button, I'm I'm moving this. Uh, I want to I want to mix these two. So we need a mix shader. Okay. So I'm going to click in the middle. I'm going to Shift A to search for a mix shader. Here we go. Got that right here. These two are green, and they're going to be coming in from these two. So this one comes in here. You see that disconnects right there, and this one comes in here. Okay, but it's not going to anything. It's not outputting anywhere to output. If we want to see it on the screen output, we need to connect everything to the output. Okay, and now we need what's called a layer weight. Okay, that's right here. We can pop this up. Okay, in this layer weight node, we got to add a color ramp node. That we're eventually going to connect to this mix shader right here. Okay. So the facing goes into the factor and the color goes into the factor. Okay. And right there. And now we can, we can play around with it. You can click and drag here. I'll make this go a little bit faster. We'll put this in Evy. And now when we slide, you can see it. See? So this is all the way dark, and this is all the way uh, light. And you can see how it mixes the two. Okay? And I honestly, I want mine to be 
real subtle. Real subtle. Just the curvature. Like that. Right? Just a tiny little curvature through space. Yeah, just right around the edges. Pretty. And that really, you know, it's uh, it's a subtle note, but it's uh, important. Okay. Um, let's get this situated. I just hit numpad one. And I'm going to bring this over here. And now, I have, with my camera selected, I'm going to click View, Align View, Align Active Camera to View. In the 3D school, Moon Model, um, they mess with the focal length. So let's pump the focal length up to 500. Let's go, let's mess with the Y a little bit. So it brings up, brings the Y. This is this is to taste here. You can bring it back, you can bring it forward. I'm gonna bring it, and I'll bring the, I wanna undo that and bring it down a tiny little bit along the C. There we go. Everybody save your work. Uh, get up, get a bend, get a stretch. Uh, maybe do a push, I'm gonna do a push up. And I'm going to get a cup of ginger tea and then uh, come back at it. Ready, refreshed, ready to go. And we'll see you in the next one.